Okay, so today we're going to be talking about my most important lesson as a Forex trader. Now to any of you, I'm sure you're a bit confused why aren't there lots of computer screens around me and talking about charts and all these sorts of things. Well, the ironic part is this lesson I wanna to speak to you about today and I hope you can all sort of stay on this video for at least a couple of minutes to understand what I want to actually speak to you about. But this is definitely a lesson I came to realize was a massive reason why I succeeded as a Forex trader and why I actually was able to overcome my losses and my setbacks. And the thing is that it really had nothing to do with Forex trading on the charts, the platforms, anything like that. It truly actually had to do with my mind. And this is not some kind of clickbait video. This is not me going to you know ramble off about some stupid story of my life or anything. But at the end of the day, I need to teach you about something that it taught me how to become a successful forex trader and the reason why i use the word forex even though i've traded so many different other things traded stocks commodities and indices ultimately i've traded forex the most and i've executed thousands and thousands of trades as a forex trader so that's why i wanted to teach you about this because it really was able to teach me about my investment thesis now just to give you a quick introduction to you my name is morgan and to anyone who is brand new to this channel let me introduce myself to you so i'm a wealthy educator and i train students in over 28 countries around the world and i have a youtube channel that's now rapidly expanding it's growing to over 100 plus countries around the world 100 over 100,000 views so far and it continues to grow and being able to do free educational videos to people based all over the world and try and help them with something has been what has motivated me to carry on with my job and keep on going not just as an educator or a professional trader but just as someone that's able to actually help someone and give them a bit of a push in the right direction and i think that might be a reason why some of you might be watching this video is perhaps you've been going through some tough times as a trader maybe you're not entirely sure if your strategies are working or if you're doing well and perhaps you might be going through some losses as well and this video is to try and give you something intrinsic of value that you can try for yourself so ultimately down to the educational part of this video what would I call my most important lesson as a forex trader and the thing is that previously there was a video I uploaded I'll put it up in the link over on the left here um, it's going to be on your right but on that eye you can have a look at the previous video I spoke about and this video specifically spoke about my journey and how I'm ending a chapter of my journey having a wild exploration in the forex industry and the educational industry as well so the thing is that I need to tell you a little bit about my story and a, a very important thing about fear and engaging something that you all need to engage with yourself so the thing is that starting out I started learning about investing when I was about 15 years old and I started reading a lot of books Books, I started getting very interested in it and then sooner or later Bob's your uncle I've got a trading platform open on my charts uh, on my computer and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing but I'm already thinking about how many cars I'm gonna have how many houses I'm gonna have and the incredible life that I can achieve through forex trading because everyone was saying to me online you can become rich you can make tons and tons of money but they weren't telling me the one thing I want to speak to you about now and that is the fact that you absolutely never give up if you want to become a forex trader and the thing is that i'm not trying to bait you at all into trying to buy a course from me or trying to join my group whatsoever there's absolutely no interest there however there is something i want to show you that very few other people are speaking about and that is the idea of never giving up and the reason why i want to tell you a little bit about my story is it can show you how perhaps you need to push a little bit harder now the thing is that when i started learning about trading i had no idea what i was doing i blew two trading accounts i deleted the trading platforms off my computer i went through all the emotions i had no idea what i was actually doing with myself and i thought that perhaps the market was just not for me perhaps it was not my uh, my character to be a forex trader and to a certain degree this is true some people just might not be cut out for it and if you need to give up on it and actually quit and actually move on to something new that suits you better then that is the right thing to do but to the people who think they can make it this video is really for you so going back to my story going through all of these failures these setbacks the emotions deleting the trading platforms getting rid of my study notes and thinking i should just move into something completely different every single time something sparked my interest and i realized that something inside of me was saying 
Perhaps you should try again. Perhaps you should keep on going. Perhaps you should give it just one more shot. Maybe you weren't doing it right the previous time and that's what I realized it came down to. It came down to the constant practice of never giving up, always studying and always dedicating yourself. But the thing is that that's not really a lesson because you hear so many people that just say, oh, just don't give up. And you think to yourself, well, heck, that's really easy. You know, I should just may as well not give up and I'll succeed and I'll become very rich. That doesn't work when it comes to forex trading because if you are the kind of person that wants to bash your head against the wall and keep on trying to push through using the same methods it's just not going to work you're going to keep on failing and that is what I realized it came down to this this is truly part of what never giving up is so what I came to realize is that I had to completely release myself from my previous biases I had to release myself from the emotion of thinking that I was failing and I had to actually devote myself completely as a student. I had to realize that I couldn't take any opinion on anything that I read unless I had tested it and I knew it worked. And this really comes down to things like track records, back testing, proving what you're doing actually works. If you're trying a strategy that just isn't succeeding, isn't working properly, then you should get rid of that strategy and move on and move on to something new and different. Now, the thing is that as a forex trader, if you're constantly trying something in the market that is losing you money, it's quite dangerous because sooner or later you're going to completely run out of money. And that is something that a lot of forex traders experience. You know, you've got the 90-90-90 rule where 90% of traders lose 90% of their money within 90 days. So when I read this, I thought to myself, well, firstly, what am I doing wrong? And then I thought to myself, well, what should I be doing right? And then thirdly, I thought to myself, if I do land up doing anything right, I need to work out why it worked versus why it didn't work. So initially I sat down and I said to myself, okay, what am I doing wrong? One, I was not getting enough education. I was not reading enough books, watching enough videos and going online to the blogs and the forums and spending as much time as I could researching things about forex trading, whether they were strategies, whether they were new ideas, even learning about things as simple as the indicators. You know those complex looking indicators at the bottom of your, of your MetaTrader computer screen? Well, if you don't understand how they work, why are you using them? And this was the idea that it really came down to is I need to understand why things work and why things don't work. And the reason why I go back to this idea of never giving up, why is it that I said up front, no, never give up? It's because this process is very difficult because at the end of the day, you firstly have to tell yourself while well, you're doing something wrong, what you're doing right now is not working. Secondly, then you have to actually say, well, what do I need to do? Meaning you have to go and learn something new. Now we all know the human body doesn't enjoy learning new things. We are creatures of It's like an airport up here. There are planes flying everywhere and it's six o'clock in the evening. Actually, by the way, have a look at this. Oh, look at that sunset. You see, to anyone, I get the question a lot. Am I South African? Am I British? What nationality am I? Born and raised in South Africa and I currently live in Cape Town. And I kid you not, this, is by far one of the most beautiful views in the world. I think, my opinion. Let's get back to the video now that the planes have decided to give us some space and the sun is giving us some light. Sorry if the lighting is changing in this video constantly, but the sun is setting. So going back to this, I realized that if I had to learn something new, my body was going to reject the idea of that because it's leaving my comfort zone. It's leaving the idea of saying, I now know what I know. Instead, I had to say, well, I don't know what I know because I keep losing trades. I keep getting strategies wrong and I'm constantly getting emotional about it. I'm deleting the trading platform off my computer. I'm wanting to get rid of my study notes. I'm wanting to completely forget about trading. But then this bug inside of me kept on coming back and saying, maybe you should try again. Maybe you should try again. And that's when they say the bug bites you. And this is truly what I thought happened to me. So I realized I had to put my emotions aside. So I worked out what I did wrong. I documented it all down and I realized, okay, don't do that again. And then I had to go and say, well, what should I do? What do I need to do right? 
And I realized I had to go through the things like learning about discipline, learning about process, learning about being risk averse. Instead of getting into a trade and saying, how much can I make? I started asking the question of how little can I lose if this goes wrong? And as I began to trade, along with learning new strategies and theories, so it was a little bit more complex than just a few, oh, this is what I need to do and I'll be become a very, very, very rich, because that never, ever happened. But I started doing those things along with the strategies that I found worked for me, and I began growing, and I began developing, and slowly but surely, one trade was a win, two trades were a win, and next thing, the month, I made a few hundred dollars and I was getting a little bit better every single month. But the problem was everyone around me rejected the idea that I could become a good trader and everyone said, no, it's high risk, it's not good for you, go get a job, go get a degree. And I thought to myself, hang on, I want to do this. I want to be fearless and I want to pursue this with every ounce of energy that I have. And this goes back to the thing I said of never giving up. I realized that all the outside influences around me were emotional triggers coming from people that knew nothing about trading. So why were I listening to them? I realized that I needed to listen to what worked and I needed to put those people on the list of what didn't work. And that was ultimately what began to produce more and more success for myself. And so as I left high school, I didn't do very well in high school. I had a very tough upraising growing up. And although I had a family that took care of my financial needs uh, as a child, there was a lot of problems that I went through, whether it was bullying in high school, whether it was failing in primary school, being very, very uh, bad at things like reading and writing and have to, having to go to extra classes all the time. What that taught me is if I had survived the first 18 years of my life and it all came down to hard work, it all came down to doing more than the other students, then I realized if I did more than the other students in the financial industry, perhaps I could succeed. Because now I thought that I had a winning formula of don't do what doesn't work and do do what does work. I know that sounds crazy. Do do what does work. Unfortunately, it's not a great quote to put on a t-shirt, so that's why I never did. But then something very important happened and I became independent. I had a family that said, well, if you wanna pursue this, we're not going to support you. It's down to you to support yourself. And what that did is that made me hungry, at times quite literally hungry, but it allowed me to persist and keep on going and become very precise knowing that if I did not succeed that month, I was not gonna be able to feed myself. Now, it wasn't that bad. I'm not trying to exaggerate. I'm not trying to make it sound like I was in a desperate position, but at the end of the day, the only person I had to take care of myself was me. And that is when I began to develop. I decided to go and find a job in an educational firm that focused on this industry, knowing that inside that job, I'd be supported because everyone around me did what I wanted to do they traded in the markets. And in doing so, I got the opportunity to begin teaching people about how I developed as a trader as well. And slowly but surely as I developed, I began to earn a little bit more, a little bit more, and it developed. And sooner or later, the ball got rolling and I began to develop something very important called a track record. And that's part of what my entire company is based on is our extremely long verified track records that we show out to the entire public because I'm proud to show people what I can achieve as a trader and as a hedge fund manager. And so as I developed, I realized that although I was in an environment that supported my growth, it was not the growth I wanted because at the end of the day, it was a company I did not own and it was working under management that told me what I should be doing. And so I left that job and I decided I'm going to take yet another risk. I'm going to go even further into that survival area of your instinct and your independence. And so I did it and I began to develop again and again and I learned new things. And my list of what not to do car, plane. That's literally like the 12th car and the eighth plane. I swear, 
in my mind this video was going to be a lot more theatrical and special but at the end of the day who gives a shit it's still going to be a good video let's get back to it so what i realized is that my list of what not to do began to grow longer and longer and longer because i was exposed to environments that although supported me were very specific and they told me what to do instead of me going well what is best for me what is best for my growth and so as i began to grow this list longer and longer of things of what not to do i realized that translated into telling me what should i do if what not to do is don't go walk barefoot when you walk out in the wild what's the contrary of that what's the contrast well, wear shoes when you go and walk out in the wild. And so I took this list of things of what not to do and I said, well, what's the contrasted opinion? What's the adverse? What's the yes versus no? What's the yin and the yang? And I began to convert these what not to do's into what I should do. And I began to develop again. And as I developed as a trader and I began to take care of myself at the time, still taking other jobs, still working for other companies because I still wanted to subsidize my income. So I didn't take this absolute, you know, warrior, raw, let's go and let's just get rid of everyone out of our lives and be completely free. That's really a dangerous thing to do. I was still very smart about it. I kept my mouth about certain things that I didn't agree with and I realized I'd have to slowly grow and grow quietly and when the moment arrived I could take the opportunity to go off on my own and do whatever I wanted because I had achieved that freedom but it was a process it was a long-term process and that's why I say to you there's no computer screens around me because this doesn't take computer screens this takes what's inside this takes what you are capable of achieving and so as I began to convert into a to-do list of what worked I began to replicate it and I built it into a system and now this was at the age of 20 years old I realized okay well I've got a system I have an understanding and then that's when I learned about the incredible word called the algorithm and the algorithm taught me about process it taught me about how a system could execute a set of instructions again and again and again and constantly repeat them to repeat its success and that's when I began to build algorithms at the age of 20 and I opened my first company called the MS Text Group whereby I was the only employee but I felt very happy about that and then something very special happened someone from my previous job who was a client of mine who never joined the company that I was working for contacted me and said I want to get a start on trading and I said well I don't work for that company but it sparked my interest because he said to me well I've gone to so many other companies and they keep taking advantage of me and they keep t teaching me complete rubbish and they don't want to give me track records and they don't want to let me speak to my cl their clients and ask them how they experienced this company's uh, uh, services but they still wanted a huge amount of money to teach me about something that I thought you taught yourself and this is what he was saying to me he said Morgan how did you teach yourself and I said well it's quite difficult it's quite a long story but I'll tell it to you and so as I was telling the story I realized that it was an opportunity for a company and that is why the MSC Academy was formed and the MSC Academy I formed by myself sitting on a couch I was sitting there thinking to myself this is an opportunity to tell my story this is an opportunity to show people about how they can actually succeed as well because I was succeeding and I wasn't some star child that was doing incredibly well and making millions and millions of dollars like a lot of my competitors like to say they did but I was surviving and I realized survival is more important than trying to be the absolute best in the world and so I built this academy and I began building it and growing into the person I wanted to become and that's also why the YouTube channel has become so important to me being able to give free education to everyone all over the world because something that annoys me the most is every single time I logged on to videos online every single time someone would try and bait you into well we're going to teach you this very special strategy but you have to pay this huge amount of money and you have to come and join our academy and then we're going to teach you it well it didn't really make sense to me and I thought to myself how can I begin helping others without having them pay for my services and that's really what I've done and so as you go to that video you you have a look at what 
is happening in my life right now, the fact that I'm going through massive changes and massive transitions, I am developing back into my roots and I'm thinking to myself, what did I want to do back then? And as the sun's setting and probably ruining the lighting of this video, I want to say this, that very, very soon the YouTube channel is going to be receiving a lot of important things that I have built and, and things that my partners have built now that people actually want to do business with me because as I've grown my track record, people now contact me and say, we want to do business with you. We want to help you grow. And so now I've realized if they're helping me grow, I need to help all of you grow. See, that's the best part about a beautiful sunset like this. You just can't get angry. You can't get emotional. But that is something that I realized. I had to put my emotions aside. This guy is literally doing circles above me. He knows I'm filming a video. He knows I'm doing something important for all of you and he's blocking me. He's on my what not to do list. So to end this off, that's what I realized is without having to offer you anything, without having to offer you any products, I wanted to offer you this lesson that at times you shouldn't give up. If you know that there's something inside of you that tells you you should be doing something, whether it's trading, whether it's anything else in your life, keep on persisting. Build a list of what you should not do, the people you should not have around you, and the aspects of your life that are negatively affecting you, and convert it into the contrast of what you should do. Then learn about the idea of an algorithm. Turn it into a process of success. Turn it into what works and replicate it again and again and again. And going back to the YouTube channel, the free education, my YouTube channel, please make sure to go have a look, has tons of educational videos where every single video is about trying to teach you something regarding trading or investing in the markets. And it's been a massive investment for me. It's been a huge amount of time and money that I've had to put in to building a free educational platform. And although my training academy now trains in 28 countries around the world, and we do sell programs to students, I enjoy making free videos more than I enjoy actually working with students that pay for my services. Because I've come to realize if there's people like me that are out there questioning themselves or have other people questioning them, Perhaps all they need is just a bit of a push. Perhaps what they need is someone to just say, you should give it a try. You should keep on going. But you just need to find out what you shouldn't do and replicate that, convert it into what you should do. And it's as simple as that. I hope that all of you can take the time to look through my YouTube channel. Hopefully there's a video up there, something that might help you, might develop you as a trader. But once again, like that video says, I'm going to be moving tomorrow and I'm going to be moving somewhere where it's going to help my growth, help me grow into an even better educator, even better hedge fund manager and begin putting a lot of my what not to do list behind me in the past and moving into what I know I should be doing, what I absolutely love doing. And the YouTube channel is going to benefit from that a huge amount. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to keep updated with the work we have. You don't need to buy a program from us. You don't need to come and study with us. All you need to do is realize that never giving up, that constantly persisting, constantly practicing is the way you can succeed. You don't need someone by your side to try and force you to do something. You don't need to pay for something expensive to become the best. All you need is what is inside you. No matter who I train, if they don't have that inside them, they will never succeed. And at the end of the day, then I failed as an educator. So look inside yourself. Understand that you need that what not to do list and that what you should be doing list. I hope this has helped you. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below if you thought you might have a story you wanted to share with us or something that might help all of us as well. Because at the end of the day, this is a supportive community. This is a community I want to grow globally to countries all over the world. And I want to be able to show positivity. I want to be able to show growth and development and help promote the healthy nature of trading and investing in the market to show you that you can succeed as long as you have the right tools. 
Once again, everyone, as the sun is setting and it's going pitch dark, I want to say thank you for tuning into this video and I look forward to doing the next one. Cheers for now, everyone. With the